Okay, guys, so a big shout out to everyone that joined the channel through Reddit. I was super excited about the, the amount of responses I got. I didn't know people were, were going to be so into algorithms. So come with me in this journey. We're going to learn a lot. I'm going to give a shout out to people who, all the people who gave me a thumbs up, the people who gave me a thumbs down. Give me some feedback about how I can improve. I hope I get a lot of people excited about computer science. And also a big shout out to Raquel for giving me a very thorough feedback. For Lopez Lopez, Mukunda, No Issue. <laughs> no, that's not his name. <laughs> Newman Yu. He, he was like, ah, you, you, you want to do it. And I told him, fuck yeah, I'm going to do it. Join me. So let's do it together, it's gonna be awesome. The problem today is the 108, a lot of people ask for the link of the problem, so I'm gonna refer to in the description. Uh, so convert sorted array to binary search, search tree. Given an array where elements are sorted in ascending order, convert it to a height balance BST. So this is an array, this is a sorted array as you guys can see and we're looking for a height balance binary search tree first what is a binary search tree binary search tree is a structure where all the elements to the left are less than or equal to the elements to its right so here you can see that 2 is less than or equal to 5 7 is greater than or equal to 5 that's why it's to its right and that that the same idea holds true to every single node down the tree so seven six is less than or equal to seven and eight is greater than or equal to eight you get the same kind of uh rule down the tree and that should ring a bell not only is this a tree which i said always should ring a bell about recursion but also you can see a certain pattern and patterns like this that you keep doing over and over again should remind you of a recursion problem. But what is a height balance binary search tree? A height balance search tree follows the same rules, but the thing is it's even on both sides. So here you guys can see that we have only two to the right, to the left of five and a bunch of nodes to the right. What we want is, as the, the name says, a balance tree. And how would we go about doing a balanced binary search tree? Let's look at a pattern that happens here. You guys see that the root element is 6. So we're going to get the middle element of a sorted array and put it as the root. And then we're kind of going to do the same thing over and over again. We're going to keep sending an array getting the middle element, sending an array to the left, to the right, and, and giving uh, the middle element. So here we got 6, then we send all the elements to its left to call the function again, so we're gonna call, we're gonna call the BST function that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second, to the left, so left, and right and and seven and eight to the right seven and eight to the right and we're gonna call the function again we're gonna call the function again as if they're their own their own arrays so it's as if we're starting over with two and five and seven and eight here I have a pseudocode so if, if, remember that I said, always start with a simple case. So let's suppose, with recursion I mean, suppose we have a, a tree with no elements, right? So we return none, there is nothing to sort. Else we're going to create a tree, uh, a tree node with the mid elements. I forgot to put mid. We're going to create a node with the mid element, in this case 6. And we are going to call recursively the function with the half of the array that is less than the middle element and the half of the array, this should be mid plus one, of the array that are greater than it. 
once it reaches just one element, so suppose we just had an array with one element. So root, we would create a node with a root pointing to that element. And then we would call the function again, but with nothing. So mid zero and mid would be none. And mid plus one to, to end the array would be none as well. So we would return none on both sides. So this would be none, this would be none. And then we would return, have a tree with only one node with one. And that's what gonna be the, our base case in the recursion. Then the recursion will start going up, so we'll return 5. 5 will be given to the right of 2. So this, so the, for example, suppose we're at the 2 node. The, the root dot left recursion call will give none, and the root dot right will give 5. So the right pointer of 2 will point to 5, and the same thing here until we have a whole tree. And then it's gonna return the root. It's gonna return the root. So let's do let's do this problem through code. Let's do this problem through code. So I already coded here, but let's so if we have a if we have an empty if we have an empty array, we return none because we have not no tree to build at all. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get the mid element, first the mid index of the array, right? And then we're gonna build a brand new tree. We're gonna build a brand new tree with the element in the middle. So that's what we did here. As it, it's as if we're building a tree with six in the middle if we're using this array. Then we're gonna call everything to its left, everything to its left. With nums. Mid. So this is calling the array up to the element up to six. That's what it's doing. So we're calling the function again with two and five. And then we're gonna call everything to its right in, with a new array as well. But this time with mid plus one. So we're calling everything. We're calling the function again. And in the end, we return true. So let's see. We had a problem. What happened? List index out of range. It's good that you guys are are checking this out because you guys can see how I debug it. So let me see what happened. I'm calling mid. Uh, oh, because we, we went to divide it by two, right? Because we're getting the middle element. I just got the size of it. Now we got the right answer. If you guys have done a binary search tree, it's pretty similar. So you're getting, you're calling the function again with the left and to the right, to the left and to the right. In the case of a binary search tree, you stop when you get the, the number you're looking for. In this case, you stop when, when the array is empty. And then we're gonna go up the recursion stack. So this is a pretty neat problem because we can practice both arrays, trees, understand what a binary search tree is, and also uh, one more practice on recursion. I've been doing a lot of recursion problems. I'll try to see if I can do more iterative solutions. So I'm pretty excited you guys are following the channel. Give me your comments, and I hope you guys come with me in this journey. See you guys.